Hello again, guys. Today I will be making a comparison, review, both things, on some of my cases. Here I have uh, four types of brands. This is a Pelican 1200 case, which I use for um, night vision uh, protection and uh, some other stuff that is small and um, fragile. Here is a Plano rifle case. This is the 36 inches. I arrived it to me last week. I'm now exploring it, but uh, I will get into details uh, later on. This one is the Classic Army. I've already made a review of it. It's a very nice case. And this one is an SRC. So, making it simple, the SRC, it's the worst of the four. Speaking in terms of quality, of course, because in price, it's the best one. That one retails at uh, about um, 50 euro, more or less. It's nice to accommodate a small uh, rifle, but um, for uh, traveling, traveling in airports or uh, putting where someone puts uh, lots of weight uh, above, I will not... Um, be 100% sure uh, about taking uh, fragile fragile stuff in here. Uh, the plastic it's um, uh, much more softer than the others. You can hear the air squeaking a lot here. Also cracking. Okay, but uh, the latches are fine. Are plastic, not. Uh, Nothing special. This one is the 28 inches. The foam is nice, very nice indeed. Lots of space here. Okay. So there, there is no O ring on the cover. No O ring at all. This is not the O ring gap. This is the the part that um, goes, uh, that sticks here when it's closed. The pins here are all steel, not stainless steel, but steel. Here, here, and here. Okay. It's the, the cheaper, the softer. For uh, not to heavy duty transport, I would say it does the job in, in the it's making the job for me for 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 some years uh, till now but it's time to to put it uh, apart this is the on the bottom anyway nothing new so these these three here are the most important the, the ones that I am currently using right now. This one is a Classic Army, it's Airsoft brand. This is a Plano, again, and this is a Pelican. Uh, Plano and Pelican are uh, manufactured to um, real firearms and uh, the real world, not the real world, not uh, talking about uh, Airsoft, okay? The Plano and the Pelican have the um, pressure valve here. The Plano got it here, underneath the case. This is when you go flying and um, the air pressure increases inside and then makes it, makes it hard to, um, to open it. You can release the pressure in the valve and you can open it uh, with no, no problems. Um, in the Plano, the plastic are, is not so sturdy than in the, the Pelican and the Classic Army. This is airsoft, but it's very, very high quality, very high quality case. In the Plano, the, the polymer here on the cover, it's not so sturdy. You can 
you can uh, um, push it and you and you hear the air squeaking but you can hear the the air coming back again because this one is uh, airtight it has an o-ring and um, it work it works pretty well now it's it's been much more difficult to me to to squeak the hair it's airtight right now you can see here the cover um, a little bit wobbly uh, a little bit um, I, don't, I don't know the, the term sorry for my English but uh, I think I'm making my point on the classic army it has the o-ring but uh, it's not so airtight and watertight than the plano you can I will squeak it for you you can hear the air coming back on the plano not it's tight airtight the polymer on the classic army it's much more stronger than in the plano but the dimensions probably are not so 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 accurate and you always hear the air coming in and out the classic army doesn't have the pressure valve but it has some wheels as i mentioned on the previous review i made the pelican of course it's the best of all you can't it's really airtight you can squeak any of the air uh, it's the it's the toughest of the um, of the three no doubt about it the latches are the the best ones here this is a small case so the the latches are smaller but in in, in a larger case it will be a latch with this design but with this size okay this one came without foam the foam that is inserted here it was me I get I transport here my night vision tracer unit uh, flashlight bulb um, with um, infrared lamp to boost my night vision and that's about it here there, that is there is here the o-ring pressure valve here and that's about it it's a very very nice case I, ca I can feel really that my my gear is really protected in here no doubt now getting back to plano this one has six latches one two three four five five latches sorry and two of them have um, a key lock here here and here which is a very nice feature the pins are all stainless steel everywhere here as well and here and there Now I'm opening it right now. They are double action um, latches, spring loaded here, very nice. And one of the best features of this case, it's the foam. It's really, you can see the, the pressure <laughs> getting inside. It's the foam. This one already came with pick and plug foam. On the pictures on the, the webs on the website I bought it, the picture the foam seemed to be very strange, you know, with no no low quality. But the foam is very nice. It's it's plug foam. You can see it there. It has a a frame in all the the foam you can see it here this is the limit here very nice 
here are the keys and it was very cheap this case is cheaper than the classic army the classic army have the stronger polymer on the cover but it's not so airtight it has no double action latches with stainless steel with stainless steel uh, pins no key lock only as uh, the plus on the classic army it's the polymer it's much stronger uh, in the wheels the rest I, I was wrong when I said that, that it was uh, much better than the, the Plano. I was wrong on my previous, my previous review. The Plano, it's much better. Not, not much better, but uh, it's better than the Classic Army, no doubt. Speaking of the price, it was about uh, 80 euros, I think, plus shipping. Here is the o-ring in all the cover and I will open again the classic army. Honestly, I like more the classic army because it's more like a pelican design. It's uh, but it's not so unique as the plano. Again, the plano it's bigger in this size here. You can put um, a scoped rifle no problems the classic army I've already replaced the original foam went to, to a local store bought um, uh, identity foam the, the foam that came here originally it was it was not bad I saved it uh, in case I will need to, to place here another gun or if I think about to sell the case I've, I've um, spared the, the original foam. Uh, I bought the uh, spare foam and I cut it to the size of my my carbine. It's a UKSF uh, carbine, Daimako. It's a PTW, not a real firearm. And that's about it. I just want to make a, a comparison review uh, for you guys to see some some of the best uh, known brands and uh, know what what to choose. This one retails at uh, about 80 euros, more or less. Depends on the seller, depends on the shipping co costs, depends on lots of things. This one retails at about um, 100. This Pelican here, of course, is it's the smaller. Retails at about this model here retails at about uh, sixty euro, but uh, full length carbine uh, Pelican retails at about three hundred, four hundred. Depends on the model and the size, but for a carbine, it's uh, about those prices. The SRC already told. So, if I have to choose one brand uh, thinking in quality and price in my last review I've said that the classic army was the best choice but it's not it's not at all the best choice in in quality it's no doubt Pelican but quality quality slash price it's the Pelican, Def it's, uh, sorry, it's the Plano, definitely. The Plano, it's the best quality due to its features. Again, the polymer on the cover, it's not the strongest, but uh, the foam is really deep. Even the, co the cover goes, goes um, inside a little bit, never will damage the, your stuff inside. I will take my TW5 out so you can see. It's really deep. And it has also another layer of protection. It's very nice. I think it's the best choice right now. And uh, I don't know, but probably I will. You, I will sell the the classic army. I haven't decided yet because I like it very much. Um, his design. But if I do, 
I will end up buying a 42-inch uh, rifle case by Plano. No doubt. This one was bought on eBay. That one was bought on Pro Airsoft Supplies. This one was bought on eBay as well. And that one was bought on a Portuguese uh, store, local store. I think that's all. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, write uh, wi write them below. Sorry again for my my accent, <laughs> my English accent. Uh, I I'm more used to write in English than speaking, but um, I think I made my point, and uh, I think it's help helpful someone doing this job, so others can uh, know what to choose and uh, know what to expect from the the brands keep tuned uh, subscribe if you want see you next time